What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bakari Patterson, professional director of photography and co owner of IK Studios, the number one creative studio in Dallas, Texas. And I am lit today because the pack done came in. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I have in the light that I have been checking out, and I've been um, doing a lot of different research on, and today it is finally here. It is in my hands. So I'm gonna check it out and give you a detailed breakdown of the GVM 800D RGB. Let's get into it. All right, guys, one of the first things that you're gonna need to do once you set up these lights is you're gonna need to go to your app store and download the GVM Easily app. Once you get inside the GVM app, you're gonna make sure that your light is set to the correct channel on both your phone and on the light, it needs to be in Wi-Fi mode. Right now I have it set to channel one and the light is set to channel one as well. So I, my key light right now uh, is pretty bright. It's like a big ring light a real soft light. But I'm going to see if y'all be able to pick up some of the colors because it's, saying it's loading up right now. It just said I connect, I'm connected. So I'm going to start to move some of the colors around. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Okay, yeah, you can see it pretty good. Not as not as strong as um, I would like it to be. You would have to use multiple ones of these if you want to get a lot of uh, output and you want to have a lot of throw with your light. But for this tutorial, I feel like you'll, you'll get the picture. I'm just kind of moving around the color. Just moving around the color wheel right now. Just showing y'all some of the different colors that they have. The cool thing about these lights is you're able to adjust not just the hue, but also the saturation of the color. And you also can adjust your color temperature. It can go from 3200 Kelvin all the way to 5600 Kelvin. So I'm really impressed with these lights. Um, this, this is something that I feel like I'm able to use a lot for music videos. Um, commercials, narrative film work. All right, guys, now that we've went through the color temperature of these lights, let's get into some of the lighting effects built into these lights. This next effect is the TV effect. This is if you were trying to create a TV simulation or if you were trying to create a maybe a movie theater type of situation. This TV light effect, I'm telling you, this, this is the way to go hands-free you know what i mean you don't have to adjust anything you just switch it to that mode and it does it on its own all right this next effect is the bad bulb effect all right so if you're trying to go for anything creepy horror film you know this is this give me them horror film vibes okay so this next mode is the party effect so let's just say if you were doing some type of an event or you were trying to create some type of party scene club scene this would be great for that. It's just gonna cycle through the colors real fast, almost like to the tempo of a music. This one's a little bit more subtle. This is the disco effect. 
Um, it just seems like it's got more of a, you know, maybe a, a disco tempo, uh, but pretty much the same effect. It's just a little bit quicker, uh, but smoother somehow too, though. I feel like they ease into the colors a little bit smoother on this disco effect. This effect is lightning. Perfect if you're trying to create some type of thunderstorm scene, you're trying to simulate some lightning, you add a little bit of water on the window, put this bad boy or a couple of them outside the window, and you have lightning, just that easy. I think this also could be a dope effect for like, you know, music videos, uh, any type of narrative creative work, you know, just trying to give a different kind of effect. Okay, so this next effect is cop car. This is perfect if you're trying to simulate any type of cop car situation. For this light to be this cheap and be able to give a great um, police type of simulation, I think it's very great. You know what I'm saying? I think it's really valuable to be able to have something like that in your lighting arsenal. All right, guys, so we're back with our last effect, the candlelight. This is dope if you're trying to simulate any type of fire situation, uh, maybe a room or a house is on fire or you're doing a campfire, or maybe even a romantic dinner. This is something that is great to simulate fire. Overall, I'm very satisfied with my purchase right now with the lights. Um, I don't think that you probably can even find an RGB light that is this versatile, this dynamic with such rich colors for this cheap. I mean, this is crazy. I'm gonna be using it on my latest music videos, commercials, and rent them out at my studios, IK Studios. So if you would like to use these lights, make sure that you rent them out at IK Studios, the number one creative studio in Dallas, Texas. Make sure you stay tuned in.